Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. So I did uh, look up kind of a map on like all the bosses that we can kind of look for. A little bit more of a little bit more of a game plan for this episode. I'm gonna have to try and make sure I plan these out a little bit instead of just winging it. There's a lot of just travel and there's a lot of grinding and stuff, right? So the one boss I was looking for is right here. So this is gonna be our first destination today. So it's gonna be that way as you can see so we'll head over there now i was just over here talking to the white mask and he was giving me some info on how to join the round table which isn't too complicated so i know there's a dragon boss down there when you come down into the water here so i'm just kind of trying not to activate him yet because I want it to be more of a, I kind of get him to come down when I'm ready to fight him. That way I'm not just running away immediately. I don't think we're quite, I don't think I'm quite ready to tackle him yet. So. Oh, we got more of these bats. Not particularly fond of fighting flying enemies. Oh, look at that, the side of grace. We'll pick this up while we're here. Nice. Open up some fast travel options. Oh, looks like there's some sort of fight going on here. Let's join the fray. up one of these brass shields, that'd be nice. Fight some demi-humans, I believe is what these guys are. Hey. There we go. Nice little little fight to get the blood pumping. These Godric Knights were a little bit more interested in the demi-humans. Oh, another grace. So we'll pick it up. some more knights here. There we go. Looks like we're here. I believe that it's just at the top of this hill here is the boss we're looking for. This might take me a couple tries once again. But I'm a little more determined to win this one than I was the Crucible Knight one. Alright, here we go. Gotta be careful blocking this guy because he will do bleed on you. Goodness. Come on. Uh, I really wish I had a little bit of range here. Ugh. 
All right, it's kicking our butt a little bit. All right, this is our last attempt. I kept trying to roll and get out of the way, but it just wasn't working. Did get him down to half health, though. He's not too hard of a boss, like not a whole lot of hit points. He's just fast. And you get really nervous with blocking too much because that'll uh, create bleed and bleed can be nasty. Maybe we should stop worrying too much about the bleed. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, back up to full. Got a couple of really good hits on me there. So, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, last potion. Oh, there we go. We got him. There we go. Win on our part. Yes. Oh my goodness. Ah, the Bloodhound's Fang. The weapon we were looking for. All right, so we defeated the Bloodhound Knight, and we did acquire his sword, the Fang. We are missing dexterity and strength to use it, however. It looks like we need two more dexterity. No, yeah, two more, and honestly, two more, it looks like. So it looks like we're going to need about two, four more levels, I think I was just saying. So the next big thing is going to be to level up so we'll go to our first sight of grace and put some level ups into it and then we'll go find ourselves our next uh next boss to help stack some experience here All right, so we had enough experience for two levels, so we now have the required strength. All we need now is two more for the dexterity, so we will go and we're gonna grind this out a little bit, and I do believe there is another boss up this way, which if I want to convert to a kind of mage-style profile. Uh, 
we're dealing with mages now. Mages can be annoying. Shut your mouth. There we go. Dismount her weapon. Uh, doesn't look like we can use it. It requires actually even more than the Bloodhound Fang. So that's no good to us. That's okay, though. Ah, here we go. There's a lot of enemies here. quite a few of them. Guys holding the fire out is kind of annoying. Alright, there we go. Quite a few of them dead. Quite a few bodies here. <laughs> Alright, let's go stop this caravan. I feel bad for this caravan. These things are actually really easy to fight. them being chained up. They're really almost not even worth the fight. Alright, let's do a big hit. Where's the crit point? Ah, right here. Can we get the crit? Just for fun? Yeah! There we go. That should honestly almost give us the experience we're looking for. A great axe. Can we use that? That is a 30 strength requirement. I do not think we will be using that one. I know there's a boss just up this way. I believe it's right here, actually. There should be a site of grace just outside of it, right? Oh no, there's the site. 
there. The Flowers of Doom. There we go. All right. Uh, heal up and let's go take on this boss down here. Hello, Pumpkinhead. My brother actually told me the story of these guys. It's actually kind of sad their tale. They actually can't like see or anything, so they actually go off of all of sound and everything. So it's kind of sad. That's why you catch them beating their heads against the ground as they're trying to break the pumpkin head. There we go. We'll take him down. Nice easy boss victory there. We can use this gate. Now there is a lady in here we can talk to. There we go. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn. A yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, with a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria, as a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle. Or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Alright, so that's gonna give us access to some sorcery stuff. I wasn't really planning on using the sorcery. It might be uh, later when I'm ready to get the sword from Rena, because you need intelligence for that, but we can re allocate then but for now we're gonna focus on our dexterity and strength so we still need one more level up shouldn't be too hard i think we're gonna need another 2000 or so runes could probably kill this flower and get almost everything we need Let's head out this way. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Always trying to get behind you. Hello? Is anybody there? Yes, Someone just give me a second. I'm fighting demi humans, man. Alright, so here we are, we can talk to this guy. Ah, 
Right, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool, and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. All right, so he wants us to take a fort, which is somewhere down here, and I do believe this is a spot for a map for this area, so we'll go grab that real quickly. Watch out for rune bears. Those things are nasty. Like that one right there, that big old hunk of death. Look at the size of that guy. Yeah, he'll he'll kill me without a second thought. So I believe his castle is right here. Is the one he's talking about. This looks like a possible spot down. Alright, looks like a site of grace over here. Alright, so here we are at his castle, and I do believe that he has actually, there's a couple of pumpkin heads kind of guarding, so it can be kind of tricky to get up and in there, I believe. We can actually... We can summon some help here. Summon our wolves. There we go. Got those from Rena here. So we'll use those to help. Ow! Apparently, it's not gonna help much. We're gonna let them fight the demi humans, I think, and get out of the way of this catapult, which damn near destroyed us. Yeah, there's the pumpkin head right there. Take that though. Let's see if we can get pumpkin head's attention quick. Ah, eh, maybe we'll uh Ah, there you go, it's already dead. We'll take on the pumpkin head now. Ooh, javelin.
There we go. Look at that. The wolves make it easy. There we go. Now let's storm the castle quickly. Rats. Uh-oh. Having uh, my health flasks, it's kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if we'll be able to take out. There he is. Bloody Slash. Alright, there we go. We took him down. That wasn't too bad. He wasn't much of a problem, was he? I was actually expecting a boss there. Top of the tower. A metal, eh? Alright. We should, in theory, have enough to start using our fang sword now, so we'll go level up quickly and go talk to the guy who said that his castle was taped in. Now I get health back. That's funny. Alright, looks like we still need 200 more runes before we can level up. I did add another charge to our flasks, so we're just going to quickly try and uh, get 200 runes. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? He does not sound good. 
We can sell some stuff to him, though. Alright, so I took a look at kind of what he had to offer. He has a kite shield, actually, that is a little bit actually under what our current shield is at. I mean, we could grab the sh shield and then probably upgrade it a little bit, but it was 80 physical resistance. I mean, eventually one of these Godric Knights has to give us the shield we want, so we're not going to worry too, too much about that. Alright, there we go. All right, now we can finally wield the Bloodhound's Fang. And you can see it does have a C multiplier with Dexterity. So Dexterity is gonna be one of the big ones to actually use with this sword. So we'll equip that and there we go. It's just another kind of great sword here. You do get some kind of cool moves with it. That's pretty cool. All right. All right, so here we are. We're back ready to try to fight uh, our old friend here again. We do finally have the better sword and we have more flasks. So I'm really hoping that we actually succeed this time. So uh, let's let's see what we can do. All right, Margaret. Oh, it just swings faster, too. Under damage. I do think we do do bleed on him too, so eventually we'll get some extra. We got three hits in that time. Nice. Yeah, that guy's got the jellyfish shield. I love the jellyfish shield. Heavy, though. Summon the wolves! Too much reach once again. All right, so we lost our wolves. I totally forgot I shouldn't have swung there, but we got away with it. Use two flasks, so we're down to four. All right, these are looking pretty good so far. To attack, but we're going to use this to heal. Oh. 
Oh, man. Oh, that was a different one. What the fudge? You are so rude. left unfortunately kind of want to stay close enough that he activates some moves but you got to stay far enough away that he doesn't dagger screw you Some of the We're gonna try fighting him a little bit two-handed here. You do mostly rely on uh, dodging currently, so figure might as well utilize it the best we can.
Alright, well we did okay so far. All right, here we go, I'll try it again. It'd be really nice to have a brass shield or a shield that could block 100% of the damage and just cut down on some of the pain we're facing. Try to heavy attack there just to see if it would change up anything. It didn't really. It doesn't look like it does too much more damage. You got your shield up, but apparently he feels the need to cut through it. Which is some first rate pose. Oh my goodness, could you just back off with the attacking for 10 seconds? So aggressive. I swear the more I fight him, the more he knows like what I'm gonna do and he counters it. I swear that's what goes on sometimes. It's all of a sudden, just everything changes. out a little bit. Serious health here. Oh, 
There we go. We did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Talisman pouch. Dang rights, you're going to remember me. That's how it's done. I will not. Oof, there we go, guys. Wow, that was that was crazy. I didn't even realize how close he was to death there for a second. I just so focused on avoiding getting hit. The wolves, I think, helped out a lot. Do we have enough for a level? We do. Okay, so we can put some stuff into some levels here. Let's do some more dexterity. Yeah, let's just pump up some dexterity. We're going to pound out as much damage as we can. And there we have it. We can finally enter the castle, everyone. So let's, uh, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here in Stormvale. Can't go this way. You there? C come over here, would you? Ah, uh, no. What are you doing? Killing you. Alright, anyone who uh, doesn't know, this guy does betray you. So, that is why I just straight up attacked him without any regard to him. Is He will betray you, so it's best to just get rid of him immediately. Go this way? It's been a spell since I've been out this way. Oh yeah, this is the eagles and I don't have any range to take them out. I'm not particularly fond of fighting these guys. Nice. Looks like that counter is pretty decent. Be nice to I get once again a shield that would heal the whole thing instead of just a little bit. This is this is these buttheads. Ooh, another leather shield. already and we haven't even gotten anywhere. That's just disappointing. We'll get rid of those guys. Now this is this is unfortunate. I believe the guy is down there he is. 
sneak up on him. Crescent Moon Axe, Hook Claws, some Wolverine action. I was not expecting him to turn as fast as he did. Yeah, it's basically a death trap if you're not careful. Almost forgot about that one too. pick up a headband here which weighs next to nothing so it's worth putting on so it won't change my loadout at all we'll stay medium these are actually a little bit lighter and they have better resistance to a lot of stuff except for your physical damage well, we're not overweight yet, so we'll just leave it at that for now. All right, now there is a friend in here. I don't know if we can take him on with only three health potions. Or three flasks, sorry, health potions. God, what world do I live in, eh? Well, let's go in and uh, let's see what happens. If we die, we die. There he is, right there. little bit scarier than I wanted it to be. I thought it was good. I thought I thought it was dead there. <laughs> All right, curved sword talisman. There we go. I think that'll help me out. I'm using a curved sword. What are the talismans? Oh yeah, okay. So we open up another one. So the curved sword enhances guard counters. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? I don't think there's anything else. in this particular area. There's an item there, gotta go get that. Ah, runes. Runes are nice. Alright. Anything else down here to grab? Nope. We need more health flasks. Or a sight of grace. We need something. We are getting very low on health. This is this guy here. Go, we'll just take you right out.
Oh. Okay. There was a spot to fall down there. That's unfortunate. I think we're getting pretty close to our next site of grace. We're gonna have to cheese it just a little bit. Because it is kind of a tough fight. And we have no flasks to speak of. A mushroom. Okay. There's apparently no reason to come over here. Well, that's just disappointing. I really thought there'd be an item. Yeah, we've got no health flasks left. Yeah, you just you just stay down there, buddy. There we go, there's our Sight of Grace that we are looking for. Awesome. And now that it has been activated, uh, let's, uh... Sorry about the sun, you guys. It's literally right into my window. I just realized that. Let's go take this guy down just to, just to show we're not wusses. I think he'll see me behind this pole. I'm not here. Oh my god, you're so stupid. <laughs> you're so stupid, I feel bad. Oof, that was nasty. I ran out of stamina right right there at the end. That, that's unfortunate. But, you know what? We, we, we can 100% kill this guy. If I had been using my shield or something, I actually would have been probably okay there. Let's, uh... Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. We defeated him. And now we don't have to feel bad about not killing him the first time. So. We'll head back. I'm going to double check to see if there's a level up to be had. Looks like we can get our level up. We're going to go... We're going to add some bigger. There we go. All right. Well, there you have it, everyone. We defeated our mortal enemy, who was giving us more than enough grief. And we, uh, we're in Stormvale Castle, so we'll carry on. 
and keep trucking. We got our we got our uh, Bloodhound Blade, which I was super excited about. Took on a couple more small bosses. You can see that, you know, once it started actually making progress, the game starts moving along. But it can be it can be a bit of a challenge just to uh, just to get there. So, anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thanks for holding out with me, and uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. So, peace out.